Hey everyone, this is Alex from Nonker.com. So if you're getting this error message that says this Mac can't connect to iCloud because of a problem with your email at email.com, open iCloud preferences to fix this problem. Then here is a possible solution for you. If you click the Apple icon in the upper left corner, then click on about this Mac and where it says serial number, if it just says unavailable or something of the like, then this fix I'm about to show you might just do the trick. However, if your serial number appears fine, then this is not the solution for you. So like I said, if your serial number is unavailable, then you can follow these steps at your own risk. Uh, this procedure worked for me and it has worked for others, but some people have run into problems. So at your own risk. And always remember that if your Mac is under warranty or you have Apple Care or another service agreement, then you are probably better off just taking it in to have service personnel look at it. So, step one, locate your computer's serial number. You can find this on your receipt, um, either the printed receipt or your paper copy. It will also be printed on the back of your computer, under your computer, or for some older models, it might actually be printed inside your computer. But for most newer computers, this shouldn't be a problem. And on my 2011 MacBook Pro, it is printed under um, the, the computer. So make a note of your serial number and make sure you have it handy when you follow the rest of these steps. Make sure you write it down with no mistakes. So carefully distinguish between zeros and the, le the letter O, for instance. When you have find your, found your serial number, open your web browser and go to this website rogersm.net so find your way to the following link and then click it then navigate to this page and here's the the trick that will hopefully fix everything you need to download this tool now that might take a while but when your download is finished open disk utility plug in a USB flash drive. And during the next few steps, you will delete all the contents on your flash drive. So make sure to save any critical data to other locations before you proceed. Now click on the flash drive in the menu on the left, then click erase. Make sure that the format is set to fat and then click the erase button right here. Now find the downloaded tool and drag it into disk utility like this. Now click the disk image you just dragged in, then drag on title to the destination field, and then you can click restore and erase. Then you type your administrator password and click OK. When this process is finished, restart your computer. And as the computer boots up, Press and hold the Option key repeatedly. This will cause the following screen to display. If this screen does not show up, restart your computer and try again. Now that you have this screen, click on the flash drive untitled and then click the arrow. Doing that will open up the following screen. Now enter your computer serial number meticulously into this field. Then click to have the utility write the serial number. Note that you will not be able to correct your serial number if you get it wrong now. So enter it correctly on the first attempt, very important. Um, then click to confirm uh, a total of three times and then click um, to have the computer restart. This time allow the computer to boot normally, don't hold option. So now that the computer is up and running, your iCloud problems should be fixed. My computer immediately prompts me for my iCloud password, which indicates that things are now working. 
You can also check to see um, when you click about this Mac in the Apple menu in the upper left corner if your serial number has indeed been written. So thanks for watching, I hope this worked for you and feel free to check out some of my other videos. Thanks.